hey, if you hear any background noise, it's raining really, really hard and windy here. So please forgive that or enjoy the sound. I love the sound myself. Anyway, I thought I would take this opportunity. I have the camera rolling. You're watching me stitch my funky patches together for the beach bag, but you really don't need to hear me explain anything because I've already done that. So I thought, you know, I, I've just had this something something on my mind. I think I'll just do a, a voice recording and talk to you and you can watch me stitch. And if you don't want to listen, you could click me off. But I came back um, in this video, I came back to talk to you about why I named my channel Aging Creatively. And I touched on it a couple times, but it's been bothering me that uh, I haven't given you more information. I actually, before I came back to do this channel, I, I, oh gosh, I did a lot of research and journaling and I've got a book. It's full pages and pages and pages of things I want to share with you based on a lot of the stuff I went through the last few years. So the last time I made YouTube videos, I was 64 years old. And when I left YouTube, I wasn't feeling very well. I was feeling pretty poorly. And then COVID came and we were in the lockdown. And I don't know, I just got depressed and I was fearful and it was just pretty bad. I'm sure a lot of you, you know, felt that way too. And um, that was two years of that. And then when everything lifted and you could start going out again, you know, people were really kind of nervous about it. Should I go out? Shouldn't I? Should I be in it? Oh, it, was, it was crazy, right? So not to, not to digress and go back to that and relive that. But by the time I got out of that, I was now I'm 66, right? Um, and I'm collecting Social Security. And all of a sudden, I'm thinking, I can't go back and do what I was doing before. I'm getting too old for that. And before, um, before COVID, I had gone and taken a few courses on the internet with professional business people teaching you how to, you know, start your business, run your business. You know, I started a website. I was uh, cultivating workshops. Um, I was, do you know, I was doing a lot. I had started three Etsy shops. Well, I started those before that, but they weren't doing very well way when I first started them. So, you know, I was learning all the business aspects of it and how to advertise and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it was exciting. It was fun. I loved it. But then now I'm 66 and I'm thinking I'm too old to get back into this. I lost my motivation. I didn't think I would be able to do it. You know, I do struggle with a lot of health problems. And so some days I just don't feel good. And, you know, all this stuff was running through my mind. So I don't know. I wallowed in self-pity for another two years. And the last year when I was 67, so from 67 to 68, I'm 68 now, I said, as I said, I started thinking, you know, you could really live long. Your mother was 98. You could live, you could live another 25 years. You better shape up and do something. This is a terrible way to live. So as I said, I was journaling and I came to the conclusion that I better get up and do something. So I started to feel a little better. My um, autoimmunes were calming down. I was getting uh, the hang of what to do for them. And, you know, I still missed my mother terribly because grief was a big part of it for me, the depression. Um, I missed my mother terribly. But, you know, I thought I better do something and I better do it quick. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I said, you know, you should get back to YouTube videos. But what are you going to do? Just go on there and just make YouTube videos, how-to videos? What are you going to do? And that's when I came up with this idea to share aging and my creativity. So aging creatively. 
and of course, to be grateful. I kind of just added that in too. So I want to talk to you today about living under the umbrella of worthlessness, which is what I was doing for four years. And it's a miserable place to be. And it can happen to any of us. It can happen to young people too. If you experience uh, trauma in your life, uh, setbacks, it really can force you into depression and feeling the way I felt. But I want to specifically address getting older and just feeling like you're too old to do anything because we face a lot of challenges, don't we? So I'm going to just kind of name a few of those challenges that we face that have come to my mind. And if you have other challenges, I'm just going to touch on some. I know I'm not going to hit them all. Please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to address them. So basically, I felt one of the things, I'm not going to name them in any particular order, but one of the things I felt was discrimination against the elderly, the aging. And what does that mean? It could mean anything from nobody takes you seriously because you're old and stupid, or maybe you're trying to get a job and nobody wants to hire you because you're old and incompetent. And <laughs> so discrimination against aging is a big thing. Um, our health declines as we get older, and so now we have to deal with that, and that's a big problem. Um, sometimes we just have to change our whole routine or schedule. Sometimes we have to leave our house because, you know, maybe the steps, maybe we're too weak to get up and down the steps, maybe we're um, wobbly, I don't know. So another problem is maybe you have to give up your home. Maybe you have to give up your home because of economics. Maybe you can't afford it. You know, maybe you've lost some loved ones. Maybe you've lost your spouse. Maybe you've lost your children. Maybe you've lost a good friend. Maybe you've lost your parents. You know, that's that can be a real problem. That can cause a lot of depression and anxiety. So maybe let's get back to the economic thing. You know, maybe you're working. Maybe you're still working. Maybe you're lucky enough to still be working and your boss decides you're getting too old and so they lay you off. Now you don't feel like anybody needs you, right? You lose the, the feeling of being needed. Your children are grown. If you have children, they're grown. They've got children of their own. They don't need you anymore. Oh, it's a mess. It just goes from one thing to another, right? And so now you're alone. It could be a million things. So it causes you to spiral into a depression or a feeling of worthlessness or uselessness. And I am here to tell you that you can crawl out of that hole because I did. I crawled out of it. And I would like to use this channel to talk about how we can manage, how we have to redo our, the structure of our life. So I have a few um, topics that I want to share with you going forward. And I'm just going to list a few of them. And if you have anything in particular that you would like to touch base, touch touch on, I should say, not touch base, touch on, please leave them in the comments below. So how do we deal with being alone? Um, how do we deal with living on a budget? Eating right? What do we do when we're having a bad day? There are things that you can do when you're having a bad day. I have rituals to stay fit and healthy minded. I have a plan every day. I do a similar thing and it's to keep myself feeling good because if I don't feel good, I am useless. So what can you do when depression strikes? How does journaling help or doesn't it? 
I think it does. How art rituals help. Your perspective. It's all how you look at something. Okay, this is this next one is a really big one. Goals. You are not too old to set a goal. I really believe that. There, I know people who have gone back to school. They're 75 years old. I know people have started new businesses at that age. I, I think goal and goals and goal setting is not just for January. I think it's all the time. We can always set a new goal. You can volunteer. So volunteering, I want to talk about volunteering. I want to talk about your spiritual life. Now, I'm not going to get preachy with that. We all have our own outlook or not on spiritual things, but I want to share what mine are with you. And if you want to share what yours are with me, I would love to hear them. I want to talk about uh, downsizing whether you're forced to do it or whether you think it's a good idea. I want to talk about family time, friends. Um, I want to talk about schedules. My voice just got lower because I think I hear something. (laughs) Uh, I want to talk about uh, caring for the elderly. I want to talk about your habits. I have a lot to say. So if you are interested in any of this, I hope you'll stay with me. Uh, I hope you'll leave me a comment below and tell me what um, is a struggle for you. And together, as a community, we um, we can deal with this. We can do this. You can do this. So uh, to end this, I just want to say keep moving. No rules. Just play. And find something to be grateful for today. I love you guys, and I will talk to you again next Friday.